Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. This is Sabri speaking. Uh, today I'll discuss about an update I've just received. Even though it is um, published on uh, earlier this month, but uh, I just got it now. It is um, uh, in, in my local time. It is 28 um, November. So it's been a while. Anyway, many of you might have uh, received this update already and many of you maybe yet to have. So what is in this upgrade? There is a um, few improvements as you know you would expect from your Windows update. So on a, on a blog it says first major update for Windows 10 uh, available today. Uh, this was published on November 12. Anyway, so experience improvements in this update include performance in everyday tasks such as boot time now nearly 30% faster. Okay, this is quite good in Windows 7 compared to other previous um, operating systems. Uh, I would say boot up speed is really good. With Cortana, they have done something, and that is you can use your device's pin uh, to you just scribble a note in the Cortana notebook, and Cortana will recognize the phone number, email address, and even physical address to help you set reminders. Okay, a few things with Cortana. And Microsoft, Microsoft Edge offers improved performance and security, along with tab preview, which allows you to hover over your open tabs and get a preview of what's on those websites without leaving the page you're on okay microsoft edge now syncs with uh, syncs with favorites and reading list item across devices so you can easily get back but well, there's just not it there's many more um uh, you can check so um you can check here uh, I mean, I have collected this from a website that is um, Windows Central. So just to uh, show you uh, what uh, ch uh, changes you can see uh, in this major upgrade, there is many more. Like first of one, what what is it? Okay, start menu. So there is. Um, Oh, I'm thinking from taskbox. So there is new feature uh, function in Windows 10 November update. Microsoft is focusing on tweaking. Yes, uh, I found some tweaks uh, like this. I mean, um, this um, maneuver is uh, has just uh, turned green. Well, it was uh, you know normal basic color that uh, Chrome offers, but in this upgrade version, you tweak and. Uh, my uh, theme color is right now green so everything goes green and also if you go to your properties my physical properties there is a function that you, uh, you can see this windows 10 will um, logo or the text color will change according to your theme so everything is mentioned uh, in this post so you can um, find more about it so many many things uh, and uh, another thing that I uh, saw that uh, with this upgrade what you can do is uh, you can uh, install uh, fresh install your uh, system and you can activate your Windows 10 using your Windows 7 key or Windows 8 key so that means if you have a genuine uh, Windows operating system that is uh, Windows 7 or uh, Windows 8 you can use uh, that key to register or activate your Windows 10 so you do not need to worry about clean install anymore because you can um, um, go for a fresh install because it is always recommended to uh, you know uh, to uh, install uh, you know with clean uh, I mean yeah install fresh because uh, there you can uh, uh, have some smooth experience otherwise if you upgrade you may have some uh, you know, messy thing like
some function might just not work as it should have been so this kind of thing so if you go for fresh uh, and install them now you can just do it without any problem because with your uh, windows key whether it is 7 or 8 you can activate your windows 10 so apart from that there is many more uh, improvements and yet there is many more uh, that needs to be done and there will be more upgrades like this like uh, next one will be uh, on midsummer uh, 2016 so there will be um, a couple of more uh, major upgrades like this in the, in the life cycle of Windows 10 and or I should say until the next project that Windows 10, uh, uh, sorry Microsoft takes even though I heard that uh, they will not bring any new um, code name they will just um, uh, keep you up to date with their upgrades but I don't know if that will be free like you can right now but anyway so there's um, uh, many more uh, improvements and I forgot to mention if you um, face any kind of problem uh, or if you fail to install your uh, update you need to check first of all that uh, if you inserted any um, uh, micro SD card or pen drive uh, if you did and if you uh, just uh, pressed to update your system uh, the update uh, may not work alright because there's a problem I found in the blog and someone I posted and the uh, developer responded that uh, if you uh, use or insert uh, a pen drive or SD card during uh, the upgrade process, the upgrade process might not work. So all you need to do is to um, you know unplug your any kind of removable disks, and better is you um, restart your PC and go for it. So okay thanks for watching and see you later